Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, so I've been trying to teach myself scale. And what I mean by scale is, you know, I, I love making big faces on the mixed media canvases and all that kind of thing. Um, and I used to do things in small, like do more scenery type things. Um, but I love doing portraits. I love doing figures. So I've just been practicing a little bit more, uh, just making it a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more to scale of a paper. So what I've been doing is I've been taking my watercolor paper and folding it in half, cutting it in half. So I have this piece and you can see it is definitely, uh, it's definitely torn because I don't, I didn't measure it very well. I got to get out my cutter, but no big deal. So what I want to do is just kind of draw and do a back, you know, do like a little painting here and see if I can do it. I don't know. <clears throat> I've been practicing a lot, but we'll see. I'm going to take, <coughs> I hate when I gag. Okay. My pencil and my, it's not going to sharpen. I'll use this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch kind of what I want. Um, I want a background and I want, I want a, you know, I want her to be on here, but I want it to be a smaller scale. So I think I'm going to kind of draw like that as her body. Um, like for her neck. And then. about that but we shall see and then her face just kind of sketching it oh did you hear my stomach and then I, what I want to do is I want to make I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this let's see I want to kind of go like this but I want her to have eyeshadow so that's what I'm gonna do on this I'm going to leave the eyes closed. I'm into like leaving the eyes closed lately. I have no idea why, but I'm just kind of sketching it out what I have in my head, kind of, I guess. And then her nose. And then a mouth. Okay. Then I want some hair. Hair, 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 hair. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't want it too big, but I want it to be hair. But I think I might need it up a little bit more. I am going to be doing a gypsy girl because Veronica had asked, you know, said, do a gypsy girl, do a gypsy girl. So I'm probably going to do a gypsy painting kind of in this style. Um, not, to, not right now, but uh, I'm going to be doing one. Just so you know. Just so you know there, girly Veronica. I don't like this. I'm going to have to make it bigger or put a scarf on her head, which I might, but let's just do like that. And then kind of make her hair like that. Not real sure about that hairline, but you kind of see where I'm going. Maybe, maybe I should try to, wait, let me see. Oh my God, my brain starts going and going and going and going. All right, so I've got that. I wonder if, if I do, let's see. I wonder if I do something like this and then do like, this and then do like this and make this go like that. It's going to kind of be where it stops. It kind of looks like a bathing, bathing cap. I'm not digging on that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I kind of want it to, hmm, 
Oh no. Maybe I should. Let's go take this off. Take whatever the heck that is off. Maybe I want it to be longer in general as her hat. Do you know what I'm saying? I could put flowers on her or something. And then this side, I'll just kind of leave like that. And I'll just give her like a hat. And that's kind of not where I want that. All right, maybe I shouldn't put anything there. This is going to be her band. Maybe I shouldn't put that there. Maybe I should just bring it up like that. And then this is kind of just a decoration that it has. Take this off. Kind of leave it like that. All right, do I need the band? That is the question. I don't know. So if I do, I can draw it back. This is what I do all the time. I go back and forth. You guys do this when you're drawing? All right. So she has some sort of hat on. Maybe she looks like she's a little Francais. You know, a little wee-wee. I just wee-weed a little while ago, so I don't have to wee-wee now, but maybe she is a wee-wee. All right. I don't know. Okay, so... What should I do first? Maybe I will paint her face. Um... I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm going to draw my paintbrush. And I'm going for it. Over top my graphite and everything. I'm not going to worry about it. It isn't water soluble, so it's going to stay in place and I'll be able to see it a little bit better once this is dry. But I'm just going to throw this on. And this is not a gesso piece of paper. It's just a piece of watercolor paper. It's what I've been drawing and sketching and doing things on. Just playing so I can learn a few th new things, teach myself a new few new things, work on it, and then in return be able to teach it to you guys the Kelly way. Because everything I draw does not come out how I have it in my head. I always end up doing something else with it and I think that's the wonderful thing with painting is it doesn't matter she's gonna have a little bit of a long neck I probably should have used a bigger brush but that would have meant that I would have had to have th thought before I started and I don't do that get those little I can see it's starting to dry a little bit so I want to get All right, very simple. Let me move this back just a second. Okay. What color should I make the hat? <clears throat> Let's see here. La, 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 la. Hmm. What color, what color, what color? Maybe I'll start with a light purple. This is brilliant purple. And maybe I'll start with that. Just a little squeeze of these. Get a different brush because <clears throat> I'm a little bit too small. It takes me forever. Okay. I'm gonna take some purple and carefully kind of stay in the lines the best I can. Always trace that later. Okay, I can always, like I said, trace the little. I'll just dab a little bit to get all that paint pushed there. So no, 
paper shows through. I think I'm going to do down here her. And I can do colors on it when I'm done. Now, I'm not going to do a background on her probably. I'm probably going to end up cutting her out and putting her, if she comes out the way I want her to. I mean, who knows? If she doesn't, then she doesn't, and then I don't do that. A little dry. Okay. So, so far so good. I love drawing gypsy. I have a gypsy girl that I did. I'm going to, I get requested a lot to redo it, uh, to do another one. So I might, um, but she's everywhere. I, I mean, I use her, I use her for a lot of things. She sold, I already sold her. But, um, I have, I have her picture and I use it sometimes as well. Oh, purple. Some black. That's purple, Cal. Uh, yeah, I quit being a jerk. Jerk, 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 jerk. All right. But yeah, definitely I'll do another gypsy uh, girl. I do my, I have, like I said, I have my. Have you guys ever seen my gypsy girl? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how long you guys have been with me. If I remember, I'll try to put it at the end of this video. Uh, yeah, just a picture of her. But I'm going to do a series. I'm going to be painting a few of those. Because those, for some reason, people love. I've done a couple that and the goddess. I don't know if that's cause that's, these are things I use as pictures a lot, like on these different, uh, Google and, you know, YouTube and all that kind of stuff. But I, I'm afraid that if I put my picture up there, people will be like, I ain't going on that channel. Are you nuts? No, I don't know why it's easy for me to do. I should get a picture of me or take a picture. But I don't. I find other things interest, more interesting than taking pictures of myself. I like taking pictures of flowers and bugs and, you know, trees. I love when we go out and take uh, pictures. Old abandoned buildings, one of our favorites. kind of tracing it and it gets when you see these coming through I didn't gesso it but you know you, you need kind of more paint on your brush because it starts to go I call it grainy I don't know what what it's called but I call it grainy it's grainy so I'm just going to put this on a mixed media painting I don't usually do hair I usually do it once she's on the canvas, but I think in this time, because of the hat, I'm going to do hair. Don't know if you heard that time my stomach, but it did its thing. All right. Hair's a little different than I wanted it, but I'm just going to give her a little, because if it's like my hair, I don't have even hair. I don't know. You know, I just, not even, but like it's curly and it just kind of does its own thing. Just give a little bit of bumpy bumps and then maybe make this A little more like that. Thinking about doing red down here. I don't know. 
All right, so now I'm gonna take my small paintbrush. Where are you? Okay, and I'm going to take some of my Bambi Brown. So many of you have asked me to get this to do a, a and do a giveaway with it. So I might the Bambi Brown uh, color because a lot of you like it and it's great for shading and all that. So um, probably will end up doing that soon as well. Now I'm just going to kind of go in. I'm going to put the paint on my brush and trace those lines that I did. And I just go like, I just wipe it off a little bit. I can always go back and get more. Put a little dot on her nose, but I will take that off with my with a little bit of water. See, it just disappears. And then just do a little bit of her lips. Look how nice! I'm loving her. And then do like that. A little bit of shadowing down here. And that's what I have so far. Um. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work, I'm going to do something here before I go because I want to, I'm going to use this. Oh, poop. All right. I'm going to use this. I'm going to lay it like that. And I'm going to take some red. This is a fluid acrylic red. And then take my scruffy brush or use whatever brush you have where a makeup sponge would be great. And I'm just going to tap it in there a little bit. And I'm going to tap, 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 tap. And I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to get the circle itself, but I just want that middle outline. But who knows, who knows with me. What I want and what I get sometimes are completely two different things. And then we'll see what that looks like once I'm done with this one. Gosh, is there anything better than having an itch and scratching it? And it like, it's like, oh, I don't know why. I know that's an odd thing to say, but I just had an itch on my face. Ba boom! A little too squish to squish for me, but I can work with that. I also want to do a little bit on her hat, but what I'm going to do is turn her upside down so I don't get the the, uh, I'm going to go like this. Yeah, just a little bit. Just add some texture. Just like that. Nothing major, because I'm going to highlight it and do all that, but it gives me something, at least it'll dry now. You know? And I'm not loving this, but, oh, I just dropped a little bit of water. I'm going to Alright, wait a minute, let me 
do this. I'm gonna kind of see how I'm pulling up some of that so there's still some of that purple left. We can also go over it with a little bit more of that purple after I put it on the thing. But that's that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna cut her out and you'll be seeing me do a mixed media canvas with her. And uh, I'll be doing all kinds of fun things with her. So thanks for watching. As always, be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else's fighting. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.